Hello, Lower School. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is your lab for today. Um, what it's going to look like is uh, if you have not been to St. James yet to pick up your packet, you need to go do that as soon as possible because this lab is located in your packet and you cannot complete the lab without it. So what you should have is this packet um, of papers, these, uh, this handout in front of you while I go through the simulation. Um, so if you haven't done that, stop, pause the video, um, and go to St. James. Um, Secondly, uh, you're going to do this and then turn it in with your packet, and then I will see that you turned it in and you will get full credit for it. All right, so before you move on, um, before we get started, um, you need to uh, complete this first um, half here, okay? So don't get started with this part yet. Um, take a moment and answer these questions. You're going to draw um, how you think the Earth moves. This is the Earth. This is the sun. Draw a picture using arrows that shows the forces that might be on the earth and the sun. There's no wrong answers here, um, just what you think. Um, draw a picture of how you think the earth would move if these forces were not there. Hint, what would happen if there was no gravity between the sun and the earth? All right. So again, pause the video, do that right now. All right. So our objectives for today is we're going to learn about the motion of the planets, moon, and satellites. We're going to draw diagrams to show how gravity is the force that controls the motion of our solar system. We're going to identify the variables that affect the strength of gravity and predict how motion would change if gravity was stronger or weaker. Fun fact, uh, this simulation was um, my uh, interview simulation, my interview uh, teaching um, classes. Uh, when I interviewed at St. James, this is what I did with uh, the class. Um, so if we were doing this in class, we would go through um, all of the controls, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is compare the motion of the Earth moving around the sun with the moon moving around the Earth. If you and your partner each have a computer, try choosing a different view on each computer for this question. We don't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a split screen here, just like that. Here's our model. Okay, and what we do is Earth moves around the sun, and we just check it out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click all of these boxes, because they show us a lot of different things. I'm going to take this one and this one off for now. I can fast forward this. All right, so that's the Earth around the sun. So I'm going to try and draw this the best I can. Let's do blue. Okay, so it's not working. But what you need to do is you need to draw something that looks like this over here and describe it. If you were to describe this orbit, how would you describe it? I would describe that orbit as um okay. and let's check out the moon around the earth do that one fast forward all right so now that we've seen both of them i noticed that the earth is moving slowly around the sun I noticed that the um, moon is orbiting the Earth in a circular motion. It is moving faster. So again, what is the same? They are both circular. And please draw what these look like. I'm not able to on here. Um, because I'm limited with what I can do over here on um, Word. But they're both circular orbits. And what's different? The moon is moving much faster. Moving on, understanding gravity for the sun and earth system. So draw the path of the earth with gravity on and the gravity off. This is a fun one. So still going on. Okay, um, let's see where we can turn gravity on. So this is on, so you're gonna draw a little 
circular motion here. You know what I can do? I think I can pick up a pen here somewhere. We'll do this. What it would look like, something like that. Formatting. It would be a circle. You would draw a circle here. Okay. If I turn gravity off, check that out. Flies off into space. That would not be good for us. So you would draw a little circle here and then it flying off into space. Let me see. Try one more thing. Draw a little line here. Okay. There you go. Why is gravity important? Pretty obvious here. We didn't have that. Already finished that sentence. Earth would fly off into space. Into a big ice ball, too, because we wouldn't have the heat from the sun. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change the um, Earth's gravity here. So, I'm going to reset this. Okay. See what you um, see what we can do here. So we're gonna click this, this. Okay, these arrows. If I can zoom in here, these arrows show the force of gravity. Okay. So what I would do is I would draw an arrow here. Okay, this this arrow and this arrow are the exact same size. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it, put it over here. What you should notice here is that the Earth's gravitational pull on the Sun is the same as the gravitational pull on the Earth. Okay, so these arrows are the exact same size. So the Sun is pulling on the Earth at the same force that the Earth is pulling on the Sun. But when we play, the Earth is what moves. Why? Why do you think that is? Well, the Sun is much bigger than. It stays put while okay. what you're going to do is you're going to go back to these pictures and just add your um, arrows for gravity. Okay, it'll look like this. All right, so we're going to change the length of the uh, blue gravity arrows. Okay, so what I can do is I can move this. If I put the star and the planet close together, what happened to the arrows? It increased. What else can we do? Let's move them apart. Move them apart. Not increase, increases because the arrows got smaller. All right, what else can we do? Let's check out here. What if I make the sun smaller? What happened to the arrow? 
milk got smaller. So gravity did not increase, it decreased. To make this bigger. So that means gravity increased. Here objects have more gravity. So you can predict make the Earth bigger, what's going to happen to the gravity? Go up or down? What do you think? Let's see. Yep. If I make it bigger, the gravity increases. See how those arrows got bigger? What can it affect the strength of gravitational force? What can you conclude from your results in your table? So let's see. The gravity increased when they got closer and bigger. It decreased when they got smaller or further apart. We'll have more. Okay. So, what was changed between one and two? Which one of these would have more gravity? So, one, sun is, is it bigger or smaller? It's bigger. Which one of these would have more gravity, case one or case two? One would have, what do you think? More gravity. You said more gravity, you're right. Not in these cases, what's the difference? Well, in case one, one would have more gravity. Case one would have, you guessed it, more gravity. Because the okay. it's just like if we do this. Remember, if I move these closer together, gravity gets bigger. Okay. All right, draw the force of gravity on the Earth um, in each case. Fill in the table to describe what you find out. How can you make the moon go around the Earth in a bigger circle? Okay, so this is kind of fun. Knowing what we know now, this is the normal. Okay, we want the moon to go around in a bigger circle. So how would we do that? I'd have to move the moon away, but I need to make the Earth a little bit bigger to hold it in place. Because look, if I do that, I moved it away, the moon's just going to drift. Oh, is it going to stay put? Yeah. So what did we change? Move the moon further. What you're going to do here is you're going to um, draw just a little um, diagram of the Earth and the moon going around it. What other changes did we notice? Well, I noticed that it's moving a lot slower. Okay. How can we make the Earth take more time to go around the sun? Let's do that one. All right, pause it. Let's reset this. Okay. So it should take 365 days, right? Take it, make it take longer. Move it all the way out. Let's make that sun a little bit bigger. Check it out. There is a normal year. 
Yeah, it took about a year and a half this time. Yeah, a lot longer. So what did we do? Move the earth away from the sun and made the sun bigger. Why do you think I made the sun bigger? Well, the reason I made it bigger is because if I moved it too far away and the sun wasn't big enough, it wouldn't have enough gravity to hold the earth in orbit. So the sun was larger and had more gravitational pull. All right, let's do the opposite. How can we make it go faster? Let's make the earth bigger. Okay, let's move the Earth closer, make the sun smaller, see what happens. Let's see. Oh yeah, that goes much faster. I made the sun smaller because if I made it too big, uh, the Earth would just go right on into the sun. That's not good. And the sun was smaller and the gravity or just to protect the earth from flying in. All right, what you gotta do is just answer this post lab. Okay, do your best. Um, and these are all predictions, so you don't need the uh, simulation. Okay, just do your best. It's a little quiz. Um, this is due on Friday, so you don't have to finish it by the end of the day. I will grade it whenever I see that you have turned it in. Good luck.